What is truth? The Bible says in John 17 and 17, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The word of God is absolute truth. You can read all the books you want. You can read all of the Google definitions you want. You can watch all of the news you want. You can listen to all the philosophers that you want. You can watch all of the movies you want, all of the YouTube videos about truth. You can go to college and you can get your master's degree, your Ph. and your doctorate degree in theology, in psychology, in sociology, in philosophy, and you can believe many different so-called truths, man's version of truth. But the one remaining truth, when all of this fades, when this whole world is burned away, when everything is said and done, when all the dust settles, there will be one thing standing. That will be the absolute truth. And that will be the tried, proven, absolute truth. That is the Word of God. That is Jesus Christ. That is this gospel that we preach. It's so simple. The Word of God is truly simple. The gospel is truly simple. But the Bible says that it is foolish to the world. It's just a book to some people. But the reality is it is the book of life. It is the book of hope. It is relevant today, just as relevant today as it was over 2,000 years ago. The Word of God stands true. The Bible is true whether I believe it or not. The Bible is not true because I believe it, and that makes it so. The Bible is true whether or not I believe it. It will always remain true. I have met truth. I have met the man that is truth. That same man that Pilate stood before and asked the question, What is truth? Many of us are asking, what is truth? But can I tell you today, friend, you can meet truth. You can believe truth. And He will change your life. Truly. I know that. Because I am a living example of what He can do through someone who was a reject, someone who was an outcast, someone who didn't have a whole lot. And today I stand a very blessed man, not just because of the things that I have, but because I know that there is an eternal home awaiting me that I will live in one day forever. I don't have to go to hell. I don't have to suffer for all eternity. I'm on my way to a heavenly kingdom and I have a heavenly Father who walks with me daily and who teaches me and shows me things that I know not of. He said, come up. Here. Let me show you some things that you know not of. Let me teach you some things that you don't know. Let me show you my truth, because I am truth. John 14 and 6, Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is only one God, and His name is Jesus. Jesus is truth.